Okay, <laughs> hey people on YouTube, um, I just came to talk about my healthy hair journey that I've been on for the past eight months, I want to say. Okay, so back in January, like very early January, I got my hair cut. My hair was like right here, and I got it cupped up here, and I decided, you know what, because I got cut off all my damage, all my split ends that I cut. And I'm a color, obviously. I used to be have blind in my head. But I cut it all out. And I'm so glad that I did. It was the best thing I ever did. See, me, I used to experiment a lot with my hair. Get all these protective styles, color, straightening my hair to death. I've been natural for about five years now. And... I can honestly say I love being natural. I wouldn't trade my kinks and curls for anything in this world. Um, I went and started going natural in 2010, and I transitioned. I did not big chop. I was in sixth grade, and my mom was like, you need to stop getting perms, your hair's falling out, blah, blah, blah. And my hair was. So I would get braids, because my mom gets braids, because my mom gets braids as well. Until finally I started wearing my hair out, because I used to like barely show my hair. Um, when I finally started wearing my hair out, out, that was in like the end of eighth grade, and um, I don't know what started making me wear my hair out, but when I wore my hair, I used to fright to death. And then one time in ninth grade, I tried to do um, I don't know what I tried to do with my head, but it turned out horrible. Failed. You see all the color damage and the heat damage, and it looked horrible. People were like, Oh my gosh, your hair is so cute, like that. And I'm like. Okay, thanks, but I didn't really like it. So, I did that, and I slowly started, like, coming out and wearing my hair like this. So, you know, my hair would get used to it. So, I slowly started cutting off, cutting off, cut off my color by myself because I know how to cut hair. But, started cutting off my color. My hair started looking better, acting better. Um, I did a protein treatment. One day, and my hair, like, started kind of reverting back to, you know, pretty bouncy, curly state. And I started falling in love with my curls. But I used to never like it. I used to be ashamed of them. You know, straight hair has been the thing. But, you know, natural hair is coming out now. So, I keep getting braids and sew-ins and all that to grow my hair. And I started taking biotin, and that really helped with the growth so I can cut more off. And then... One day, I just got tired of the damage. I was like, sister, please come here. Please cut cut all the damage off. And when I, when I got it cut, I was, like, scared because I know it was going to be short because I had a lot of damage. So I was used to my hair, like, down here and stuff. And then it got up to here. And then when I'm telling y'all, I took biotin, did protein treatments, deep conditioned. I deep conditioned before I got the cut. Deep conditioned, all that. And then within six to seven months, my hair went from here to here. Y'all, y'all just don't know. Going on the healthy hair journey is the best thing for you. Cut all your damage off. Don't try to keep it. Don't try to salvage it. Cut it off. Take biotin, hair affinity, meta uh, main metabolism, MSM, folic acid, whatever you got to do. Version method, whatever you got to do. Stick to it. Stick to a healthy hair regimen. You have to. Deep condition, protein treatment, you have to take care of your hair. Cut the split ends off. Don't cut your hair every six weeks and expect to see your hair to grow. Because, no, you're going to be cutting your hair off as fast as it's going. Cut your hair only when it's necessary. Get your split ends cut every four, three to four months. Five if you can stretch it. But don't cut it no earlier than that. Because you're just going to be cutting off your hair as fast as it's going. Protective style. You may not want gay braids. You might want to sew in. You might want a wig. However, you want to protect your hair, protect it. Keep those ends protected. You have to at all times. It's important. And I'm telling you, your hair will flourish to the best of your of its ability. Hair, to me, I don't believe hair has a growing capacity, but others do. I don't believe that. So, you know, but. Take care of your hair is all I'm saying. Stick to a hair regimen. Take growth aids if you feel like you have to. Some people don't believe in growth aids. I do. And I recommend it to anyone else. I take biotin. I don't take hair for any of the too much money. But 
I take biotin and it's worked. I don't really break out like that because I drink. I drink a lot of this, a lot of water. Drink water all day. At least three bottles of water. At least. I'm telling you guys, your hair will benefit and your hair will grow. Start a healthy hair journey. I've been on it and it's worked for me. My hair has been growing and growing and growing. Uh, I really recommend a healthy hair journey. You may not be like, oh, I don't want to stop straightening. No heat. I'm telling you, no heat. I went about eight months with no heat. And I'm telling you, it's perfect. When I want to stretch my hair, I use the part your hair in sections. We're and bobby pin it method to stretch my hair when I feel like I need want to blow dry. And then I brush it out. And that's what I do. I don't use no heat. These are just tips I do to grow out my hair. Well, to have grown out my hair. It's worked for me. It'll work for you, I know. No heat. Deep condition. Protein treatments. Cutting off all damage. Protective style. Moisturize. Yes, you have to moisturize and still. You have to. Use growth aids if you feel the need. That's about it. And guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a nice day. <laughs>